the tapas, that's it, the tiny snacks. And uh, I was trapped there, I couldn't get away. Um, and uh, there was a woman there who, in the hotel, she was helping me. She said, um, she said oh, uh, Senor Billy, uh, uh, there is a problem with the flights. So, yes. And I couldn't get a ferry because all the ferries were full of people. It was like that scene at the end of 2012 when you know, there's a massive ferry, but thousands of people at the back of the ferry and the thing's lifting up and, take the children, take the children. And uh, so I couldn't get away and I phoned the woman and I said, I can't get away. She goes, I know Mr. Bailey, I will help you reach your destiny. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, you, you might think she meant destination. I don't think so. I think she meant destiny and that was it. And this is my destiny uh, to be here. So, yes! Uh, is that the, well, firstly, the correct pronunciation. What is it? Is it you? What's what's the uh, Olapul. Not Ulpul. Allah. Allah. What did I say? Ula. <laughs> did I say that? Ula pool. In a strange Swedish way. I didn't mean to say it like that. It just came out like that. Olapul. Like that. Not. Hey. <laughs> Not like that then, obviously there's something wrong with that. <laughs> I'm going to pronounce it like this. Oula <laughs> poule. How does that work? No, no. <laughs> you can turn, you turn easily, don't you? Yeah! Oh no, he said it wrong, right? Out! <laughs> Summer is a coming. So, um, <laughs> are you ready to rock? Is that the main thing? Yeah! Uh, you're not quite ready to rock, yeah, are you? Just here. <laughs> You're just in the picnic waiting to rock. You're just not ready for the rockage just yet. I can rock, we'll rock with that in a minute. I'll pick that soon, rocking, you know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, well, then we had the, uh, the magnificent uh, change of government to some weird non-government thing. Some strange coalition of the damned. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the big cabinet meeting, the Tories turned up in some uh, sort of chauffeur-driven limos and the Lib Dems turned up in a Bedford rascal, which is uh, obviously a sign of things to come. <laughs> the first day, the first day, they got down to business and Nick Clegg said, what are we going to do? And David Cameron said, well, you Clegg, you can get me a latte and I'll make you hall monitor. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good. I mean, it was, uh, I had such high hopes. When we, when we, I knew we were going to get Brown as a leader, you know, I thought, I, you know, I was hoping for one, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking about... for. But instead, we got this. I stand here conscious. Yeah, barely. <laughs> the most exciting, was it? Most exciting uh, government. Still, so, hey, uh, that's it. We got to, we got to, we're lumped with it now. Uh, it's a shame, I think. I don't think, I just don't think we, we have a sort of, we've had a unifying moment in politics, you know, that, uh, in the way that America has, you know, that, with the Obama moment. That was, a, that was a great moment for America when they all got together and they said, you know, yes, we can. And in Britain, we sort of went, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> that was, that was a result of this leg, wasn't it? Oh, poor, I don't fancy any of them. Uh, and <laughs> we just don't have any of that unity, you know. And I, I crave that. I crave that certainty. That's a, that's a very sort of seductive thing, the certainty of a whole nation coming together. And uh, he's a very articulate, very intelligent, kind of uh, charismatic leader. And uh, he sort of, you know, he unified people with this, with this wonderful rhetoric. And, uh, and the thing is, one, the only thing I find strange, but some, my only caveat with Obama is, this, is that some of his phraseology is sort of a little bit vague. You know, it sounds, it sounds great, but then you listen to it and you think, uh, what? Yeah. You know, he talks about the audacity of hope. The audacity of hope. And we don't really talk about hope uh, that way, uh, do we? In these uh, parts. Um, in fact, in Britain, we don't really talk about hope at all, really. It's a rather... Well, the distasteful subject, right? The, the vulgarity of hope would probably be a better. The mundanity of hope, perhaps. The depressing inevitability of hope. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But just the, the audaciousness. Why would hope be audacious? It's just something that happens naturally, surely. And I find, like, and also, I, I think perhaps we have a different form of hope. You know, American hope is a positive hope, hoping for a better day, hoping for a better outcome. 
In Britain, hope is hoping that something doesn't happen. You know? <laughs> Isn't it? It's, you know, we're having a picnic tomorrow. Is it going to rain? Oh, I hope not. You know? <laughs> It's borderline anxiety, isn't it, really? <laughs> we don't tend to think about it. Um, and uh, I don't know, I, uh, and, I, and I also think that it was extraordinary how that, you know, he won. He won, he was, he is, you know, was, was, was popular in, in the rural heartlands of America. I mean, America, you know, this vast country, and, it's, and there was Obama sort of quite an intellectual, uh, quote, you know, quoting people like Gandhi. You know, Gandhi said, uh, we are the change we seek in the world, and, and Obama says, be the change we seek in the world. And I, I, I thought that extraordinary, uh, in these kind of rural heartlands of America, when the people listening to that, and what the hell? I would have thought, I mean, my rather sort of unpleasant, perhaps, and uh, rather, rather sort of, um, uh, uh, rather, I don't know, perhaps a stereotyping way of looking at rural America, I would have thought they would have said, so what the hell is he on about? Be the change we're doing, ding, ding, like that. But no. <laughs> Instead, they were saying, I believe he's paraphrasing Gandhi. Yes, I believe he is. <laughs> which, was, uh, which was brilliant, uh, an extraordinary thing. Um, so, yes, so, so anyway, so let's rock. Let's rock it up then. Come on, let's rock it up. Let's just rock it right up. Here we go then. All right, so. <laughs> okay, then, here we go. Uh, I'll start off. I'll start off. Uh, right, okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. We'll have a sing song. We'll have a sing song. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah. let's, uh, let's have a sing song. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, right. So that wasn't pretty good. That wasn't, that wasn't a real rock and roll beginning, was it really? So let's rock. Like that. That, that is not traditional rocking, is it? Let's rock. <laughs> No, you wouldn't really get that. Uh, Rolling Stones at Shea Stadium. <laughs> How'd you go again? I've forgotten it. <laughs> or, uh, you know, Zeppelin at Nebworth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've forgotten it. Right. <laughs> and already I'm slightly distracted by the shiny reflecto light of the guitar. Look at that. Look at the shiny lights. Shiny, shiny light. Look at this. Shiny. Oh, a tough crowd. Okay. <laughs> Some nights, 20 minutes for that. <laughs> That's mainly in Yeovil, in the West Country. Yeah, that, no, that's a bit harsh. Sorry, I, I don't you know. I, I actually, I grew up in the West Country. Um, and, uh, hey, oh, are you, are you, hey, hey! Woo! Well, are you from the West Country or have you been hypnotised in another show? <laughs> Somebody mentions the West Country. Yeah. Oh, where am I? Uh, are you from the West Country? Devon. Devon? Blimey, and you, uh, right, well, and you come up here, or you live, or what happens in the time tunnel or something? You come, you live, you don't know, I don't know, what? You don't know, who knows? You, well done. And, uh, no, 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 come on, no, this is a week finish. So, uh, what part of Devon are you from? Exeter. Ex excellent. Uh, brilliant. Exeter. Brilliant. Excellent. I know, Exeter. It's brilliant. Um, and uh, Exeter, I, I grew up in, uh, in the West, I grew up in a place called Cainton, which is near Bristol in the West Country, and uh, I had a sort of very strong West Country accent when I was growing up. I've, I've stopped it now, got rid of it, because um, I wanted to be taken seriously in life, you know. Because <laughs> uh, if I come in, hello there, like that, you talk like that, then you're going to start mentally dressing me in a smock, aren't you? That's what's going to happen. <laughs> You know, Photoshop a bit of straw into my mouth. <laughs> you don't see people in positions of authority or power with a West Country accent here. Respected war correspondent. Hello there. <laughs> I'm outside the Tora Bora Caves. And that Osama bin Laden, he won't come out. He won't come out. Come out, Osama, you crafty old badger. He won't come out. <laughs> oh, I got tribal, your favourite. See, he won't come out. <laughs> Where is he to then? No, you don't. You don't hear that. Um, and, uh, no, I, uh, I do love it down there, actually. I love uh, Devon, actually. It's a, it's a beautiful part of the world. I, uh, I, uh, I went down to a place called the it's a Wildlife and Dinosaur Park down in a place called Coo Martin. And it was just, it was fantastic. Brilliant. Lovely place. I was, I was, I was mainly because of the sort of the, the kind of slightly ramshackle, amateurish nature of the park, really, where all the animals are kind of just sort of crammed into a, an enclosure without any real classification. 
It just it was a bloke. They go, yeah, we got a meerkat in there, a donkey, snail. I don't know. Uh, they all seem to get on. You know, uh, we just chuck a load of quavers in. They seem to like that, don't they? Uh, uh, I bought a Mongolian red panda off eBay. Turned out it was a cat. Somebody coloured it with a marker pen. Uh, and the bloke doing the falconry display said to me, a lot of them don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> See ya, suckers! <laughs> All right, OK then. So let's, uh, let's rock it up in a uh, traditional other pool style. Uh, <laughs> and what would that be then? What would that be? Uh, um, no, 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 no. Right, so here we go. No, 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 okay. All right, then. I'll start you off then, right? Okay, here we go, sing song, right? karaoke black hole that one in it, yeah. <laughs> you think you know it? <laughs> I'll teach you a song later on. Uh, no, I bet this I hang on, I'm going to try out, see if, see if you've got this kind of a, there's a thing which I've been, I've been trying out with the audiences, see, and they've got this kind of weird reaction to it, and there's this sort of strange kind of zombie reaction, here, let's just try it. Zombie crowd, yeah. Oh, no, and everyone goes, oh, no, there's a crowd. Like it was committed by some strange force. Let's try again. Oh, no, there's a crowd. And the sky is grey. And the sky is grey. Having for a walk. On such a winter's day. I'll be safe and warm. If I was in LA. Yeah, I like your style. Can you go faster than that? Oh, London to Brown. And the sky is great. Have a more walk. I thought the wind was dead. Okay. So we can go the other way. Oh, Actually, a lot of lyrics I don't really uh, I have a problem with actually a lot of that. You know, like that song, um, you know, there's this, uh, there's this song by the uh, band called The Killers, you know, and it goes, uh, it goes, it goes I got so, but I'm not a soldier. I got so, but I'm not a soldier. Which is just meaningless dribble, isn't it, really? You know, you, know, you can might as well say, I've got a ham, but I'm not a hamster, you know? <laughs> In fact, let's all turn. I got a hand, but I'm not a hamster. I got a hand. Next time you go to see the killers, sing that back to them when they get to that bit. The band of flowers are going, are they singing ham, hamster? That Bill Bailey! <laughs> and since I've been doing that routine, that little song, people have been sending me helpful suggestions on how I could, you know, help my, my comedy, you know. Uh, and little things, you know, most of them are just, you know, hopelessly uh, sort of. Uh, Endearingly rubbish, you know, like, yeah, I've got knob, but I'm not a hobnob, you know, things like that. 
Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I definitely use that. Well, I have. Uh, and, uh, and one of my favourites was, I've got mange, but I'm not a manger. <laughs> Which is, uh, I kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> and there's a, there's a song by the um, band, uh, you know, The Stranglers, you know. Never a frown with golden brown. For years, yeah. Uh, and then they go, way at the end of it. And I was, was always told that was about heroin, it was about a drug song, but I think it is, I think it's about the plight of the red squirrel. You know? <laughs> Never a frown with golden brown. Despite the larger, more aggressive grey squirrel usurping its territory, the red squirrel <laughs> remains cheerfully happy. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, I'm not sure about that one, right? <laughs> and there's a, a, a lot of rap songs I'm, a bit, I, I, I'm not a big fan of, you know, like, um, you know, it's, sort of, um, it's a rapper called Akon, right? And he had, he had this song, right? And it was, it was it, perhaps I need some hip hop beats to actually, uh, to really sort of like, you know, uh, actually, yeah. Plus, you know the song. Smack that. <laughs> and the lyrics, right? It's just kind of like this is all what's wrong with sort of like rap lyrics. And he goes, I hear you. Oh, take it again. I hear you creeping. I can feel you in my shadow. Wanna jump up in my Lamborghini Gallardo? Right? Now, <laughs> never mind. Then mind the bad scansion, right? <laughs> I can feel you in my shadow. You want to jump up in my Lamborghini Gallardo? <laughs> a Lamborghini Gallardo is 45 inches off the ground. <laughs> Who are these people he thinks are going to jump up into the Lamborghini? Is he picking up hobbits or something? <laughs> oh, yeah. where are we going, Mr. Acorn? You crib? Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it. Um, and also, there's a... Um, there's, an also, uh, there's a song which uh, has always bothered me, and uh, the lyrics have always sort of like rankled with me, like an unreplaced Glade plug-in. And... I mean, come on, you know, put an after eight in it or something. Uh, <laughs> use your imagination. Uh, there's a song by this uh, a, sort of a, a, a folk uh, moppet uh, called um, Katie Malua. And uh, there's a song, and it goes, There's nine bicycles in Beijing and in the AXC but I still love you uh, I, mean, I mean it's cobblers basically uh, there's nine million bicycles in Beijing but how do you know there's exactly nine million bicycles in Beijing and that, and that apparently that's fine and I'm, oh, but I love it and then mind the fact there's nine million bicycles how do you know this always bothered me you know there's 14 million cordless drills in the Amazon basin <laughs> but they haven't got power, so they just chuck them in a pile. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish, doesn't make any sense. There's 14 million iPods in Rangoon, but they can't download, so they use them as spoons. 